Don't judge. <laughs> Merci. I'm not sure I'm doing very well in this challenge. It's really not that dramatic, but what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new. So today's video, I am doing something that I am very excited about and I've been wanting to do ever since I did the first version last month here on my channel and we are doing the do you have that other book challenge. I did the first version last month and I had a lot of fun doing it. So I've been wanting to do the second version ever since and we are doing it today, which I'm very excited about. So I have the question on my computer right over there because uh, I couldn't print them because I don't go to work anymore because of pandemic. So um, I have the question on my computer. I will set you up better this time, hopefully, and we will get started. If you guys don't know, basically there's a bunch of questions. There's 20 questions. And you have to fit a book that would fit the, the questions, basically. And I will time myself like I did last time. Let's get started. This is the best that I can do if I don't want to shake my camera too much. So this is the angle that we're going to be working with. I have my question right there on my computer. So that if I'm looking over there, that's what I am doing. And like last time, I will time myself. We have my timer right here. Let's get started. Okay, question number one. Do you have a book with a fox on the cover or part of the plot? Fox. I don't think so. Oh, and like, and like last time, I have so much things on my like on my bookshelf. I honestly don't think so. I have. I don't. I know I don't have one. Just we'll skip that one. You have a book that was published the year you were born or within three years. Oh shoot, the year you were born. I know Harry Potter is too old. Oh maybe. Okay, if it's not that, then I honestly don't think I have one. I feel like the first one being a wallflower was published a long time ago. 1999. That doesn't work. Yes, I have one. Okay. Um, do you have a book with a music as a weapon or magic? What the hell? Music? What the hell? Who wrote these questions? What? That's very specific. Do you have a book with music as a weapon or magic? Okay. Next. Sorry. Do you have a series with Mitch Miss Match cover? Yes, I do. Of course, they're at the bottom. Last uh, time you couldn't see me. Okay, let's do these two. Uh, do you have a book with a shapeshifter? Oh. Shapeshifter. Oh, I do, I do. Uh, do you have a book signed by the author? I have a few. Yeah, signed by the author. Do you have a book with mostly red covers? That's funny. I just did my um I used that one already. Let's do another one. Ah! I'm losing so much time. I just did my name book tag and I use all my cover. That's pretty funny. Um do you have a book between oh shoot 287 and 306 page? That's a short book. 306. That's too much. That's too much. Oh. Shoot! Where are these page numbers on this book? Seriously? Shoot! Seriously? Ugh. Ooh, I think I have one. Okay. How much is 287? Yeah. Accounts. Okay. Do you have a book with your main character who wears glasses? Um, I think she wears glasses. Right? I think so. Maybe not. Um, do you have a book with a title that has the same number of letters as your first name? Oh shoot. So it's eight. No, that's too big. That's too big. Yes, I have one. Um, do you have a book uh, with cybercrime technology as a plot? I did just read one. It's on my Kindle. Does that count? I have this. Um, do you have a book written in another language or in another language or translated into English? Let's do this one. He's my favorite, one of my favorite authors. Let's do this one. Do you have a book written by an Asian author? I have a few. 
Anyway, I'll do this one because I just read it. Uh, do you have a book with a moon on the cover? A moon on the cover? I have so much shit on my... Does that one have a moon on it or is it like a sun? No, it's not. I remember now. Where are my fantasy books? No moon, no moon, no moon. Oh, wait. Not the moon. Yeah, okay. Okay. Do you have an illustrated children's book? I do have one downstairs, but I'll just do this one. Because it counts. Okay. Do you have a collection of fairy tale or myth? I do. I'll do, I don't know, this one. Do you have a sci-fi fantasy with a no, with a Owl, aliens, millions between um, between races. I mean, I feel there's a like there's a lot. Um, wait, why am I blanking? I mean, does that count? I'll do this one just because I mean fairies and human. You have a book with a narrow front cover. Oh yeah, those are really annoying. Like paperback with a narrow front cover. I do have one right here. Oh my god. Um, do you have a book that includes the first chapter of the sequel? I just saw a few. I'll do this one. Um, do you have a book with a broken spine? Uh, I guess this one counts. I don't really break my spine often. Okay, and then uh, bonus question. Do you have a book that covers three or more of the above prompts? Okay. So let's see, what can I do? Um, this is harder than I thought. Oh, okay. I'll do this one, this counts for three prompts. Okay, so I'm done and stop. Oh, okay. So 11 and seven seconds. Is that good? Is that bad? I don't know. I feel like I went through this one quicker than the other one. But looking at my time, I didn't. So let me clean this mess a little bit and I will come back. I'll talk to you guys about the book that I chose, basically. So I'm back. <laughs> so I'll go, I'll go through the questions with you guys and I'll go through the, um, the book that I chose for each one. So the very first one was, do you have a book uh, with a fox on the cover or part of the plot? And I'm pretty sure I don't. Um, like I said, I'm pretty sure that that question was... Um, created one like there were a lot of books that were coming out with foxes either on the cover or in the storyline so i feel like maybe that's why they added that question but i don't have any of those i'm pretty sure um so yeah first question i failed it's fine second question is do you have a book that was published the year you were born or within a three years radius that kind of gives you my age now um, but i am 30 years old so i was born in 1990s not a lot of the books that i own were published at that time i did find this one this is le passeur which is the giver um which is one of my favorite book of all time i love this book the french version um, copyright was 1992, so I'm guessing that's when it was published, hopefully. And there's like a ton of dates. I don't know if those are the dates for the French version, but it says copyright, Loris Loris, 1992. So I'm just guessing, I'm hoping this was published in... Let's go check, actually. Was this published in 1992 or, or am I completely off? Oh, 1993, so it would work still because it's a three-period radius. So this, it counts. I have one point so yeah that's the giver question number three is do you have a book that has music as a weapon or as magic and i don't know the book that has that maybe i'm just i really don't know but i'm I w i'm really curious to see what people choose for this book because i i don't know i don't have any Question number four was, do you have a series with, with mismatch cover? And I do, and we all hate that. Don't we, us as book lovers, we hate when that happens. So I picked up the Delirium series. Uh, I have Delirium, which is the first book, and then Pandemonium, which is the second book. Um, clearly very mismatch. I don't know why they do that. I like these covers. Um, this was the original cover, and then they came out with these covers. Um, this is a cool one with, like... This was upside down the whole time. 
This is a cool one with um it has like this girl the girl on the actual like cover itself. So yeah, I don't know why they do that, why they change covers on this mid-series. Would someone please tell me? I would love to know. Question number five is do you have a book with a shapeshifter? And so I picked up a so uh, <laughs> Sorcery of Thorn by Margaret Rogers. Uh, what's his name? Silas. Is that his name? I think is a shapeshifter. Right? I'm pretty sure. I read this book a long time ago and I didn't love it. But I'm pretty sure he is. Now I'm doubting myself. But I'm pretty sure he's the one with the cat, right? So yeah, Silas in this um, book is a shapeshifter. I don't know if he's like considered a shapeshifter, but he can shapeshift. I'm not sure I'm doing very well in this challenge. Question number six is do you have a book signed by the author? And I have a few. I'm not someone who like looks for signed books. I, I mean, I, I like them when I get some. And oh my god, I just thought that all of my fairy loot books are signed by the author. And I did not think about that. <laughs> I thought I only had like one or two, but no, I have quite a bit because I'm I have fairy loot books. Anyways, the book that I chose was The Fault in Our Star by John Green. It is the signed edition. I pre-ordered this book. I actually had two copies. Um it is signed by him. Um okay, so this book was so so popular when I first started watching booktube which was like ages ago when was this bush public in like yeah oh my god 2012 uh, so when I first started watching booktube this book was really really big and the and the green brothers in general were like really really big so um yeah I picked this book up it was really really good I really like it but I haven't reread it since because I kind of have a feeling that I would cry I don't like sad books but um it's a signed book so it counts for this challenge Thank you very much. Question number seven is, do you have a book uh, with mostly red cover? It, which is very funny because I just posted my um, game name book tag where I spell my name with books and I added my own twist to it where I was only picking up books with red covers on it. So that was, that worked. But the one that I chose for this um, challenge is Cruel Beauty by Rosamund Hodge. I've talked about this book quite a bit on my channel now. Um, this is a Rome, no, this is a Beauty and the Beast retelling. I really like this book. The question number eight was, do you have a book between 287 and 306 pages? 306 pages. That was a hard one. And I picked, oh. <laughs> and I picked We'll Always Have Summer by Jenny Han. It has exactly, it has exactly 291 pages. This is the last book in the, well, um, what is the, what is the series called? The Summer Teen Pretty series, I think, maybe? Um, I don't know, but it was a really cute book. It's an older YA book. It's a younger YA as well, uh, so I read it a long time ago, but I really liked it. I really enjoyed it. She is the author of the To All the Boys I've Loved Before series, and um, this was her first series, her older series. I would really recommend for younger girls out there. I really liked it. It's about this girl who each year for the summer she goes to this summer beach um, house and there's these, uh, her like neighbor, her these guys and it's the summer where she is coming of a coming of age story. I really liked it. I would highly recommend this series. Question number nine is do you have a book with the main character who wears glasses? So I don't remember if she actually wears glasses but fangirl um, on the cover she wears glasses and I read the um, the graphic novel and I pretty sure she wears glasses and that that's how I remember that on the cover she wears glasses um, I don't remember if in the book she wears glasses though this is a YA book a pretty older YA really popular I know this author has been getting a lot of shit lately but I really like this book and um, I haven't read anything else by her I've tried Eleanor in the Park and I hated that book uh, but I really like Fine Girl. It's about this girl who is a twin and she goes to, it's for it's her first year to college and she's very shy and she writes fan fiction and it's, it's a coming of age story. I really, really like this book when I first read it. I never reread it. I probably should, but um, yeah, I really like this book. Question number 10 is, do you have a book with a title that has the same numbers of letters as your first name? So my name has eight letters and that was a hard one. And so... Uh, I found the archive by Victoria Schwab. I did not count the. Did I, is that cheating? Maybe. Now that I'm thinking about it, it might be cheating. I just 
archive have the same letter as me so l a u r e n c yeah um this is a older series by victoria schwab i really like this series this is about a world where when people die they become like a book and you have to there's this place where all the books are stored and they're not actual books they're like souls i guess so like souls that the library librarian can read them and she is becoming like i don't remember um, I don't really know how to explain this book, but it was really, really good. If you like Victoria Shop, this is her older series, one of her most, like, one of her, I'm guessing, first book that came out. I really liked it. Um, I haven't read the second book yet. I've read this book twice, and I never got to the second book. I don't know why. I, I really need to, but, um, yeah. Don't judge. Question number 11 was, do you have a book with cybercrime technology as a plot point? So I just read Cool Future. Uh, by Juan Martinez and I really liked that book it was a dystopian type of world with kind of a thriller it was good it had a lot of technology in it it's a dystopian world where technology took over but it's on my kindle so I don't have a physical physical copy of that book so I picked up The Future of Us by Jay Asher and Kellen Mackler um this is about this is in my um books will self-destruct if I don't read this until the end of the year. It's about this, these two friends who basically discover Facebook before Facebook is invented. So it's kind of technology-ish. I haven't read it yet. Question number 11 is, do you have a book written in another language or translated to English? Okay, so my battery died. I'm sorry. I'm not sure about the angle. I think it's about right, but um, I'll just get, I'll just continue. La part de l'autre by Eric Emmanuel Schmidt is the book that I chose for a book written in another language or a book translated. Um, so this is in French. This is a French author. He's pretty popular, I think. He has a ton of books out now. Um, and this is a really, really good book if you guys are into historical fiction book. I'm pretty sure this is translated and I'm guessing he's a pretty popular author. So if it is, I'll leave a link down below of his book in English. In English. But this is a really good book. This is about um, Hitler, Adolf Hitler, basically. And the half of the book is his life as we know it today. Like, his life with World War II and everything, everything that we know today. And the other half of the book is him if he got accepted into art school. So if you guys didn't know, um, Adolf Hitler, before he became Hitler, the one that we know, um, was rejected from art school and a lot of people and this is basically um his life what if he got accepted to art school it's obviously fiction but i really like this book it was really really good and just him as an author in general if you guys are interested i really like him he has a ton of books question number 13 is do you have a book uh, written by an asian author i do have quite a few and the one that I chose is These Violent Delight by Chloe Gong because I just recently read this book and I really enjoyed it. I really liked it. And um, this is a this was marketed as a Romeo and Juliet retelling. This is not romance heavy. This is a fantasy book. It was really good. I really like it. It is set in Shanghai 1920s. And this is a debut novel as well. And I do think for a debut author, this was really, really good. And she's like so young. She's like, I don't know. But she's very young, which is very impressive. So... Okay, number 14 is you have a book with a moon on the cover. And that one I thought would be easier for me to find. Um, I had a hard time finding it. And I found Star Sight by Brennan Sanderson. This is the second book in the Sky Skyward series. I have not read it, but stay tuned on my channel because this is going to be featured in the upcoming TBR. Um, but yeah, it has a moon in the back. From what I understand, this is a sci-fi series about this girl who wants to become a pilot, and this is the second book, so... Question 15 is, do you have an illustrated children's book? I do have quite a few downstairs, because um, sometimes when my nephew comes, I like to... Um, I do have quite a few downstairs, because sometimes when my nephew comes over, I, I have books for him. Um, but the one that I have on my shelf is this one that I chose. It's kind of a graphic novel, but it is a kid's book. And it is the Tea Dragon Society. This was so cute. I love this, this graphic novel. It is so precious. The art style is really, really cute. This was really, really good. Um, it is super short, super easy to read, super fun. And it is by Katie O'Neill. And there's a second book out. And I think a third book is coming out pretty soon as well. So. Hey guys, it's me. I, I just realized I forgot a question. 
Um, so I'll just film this right now and I'll put in the clip like when it's supposed to be, but if the everything is messed up, that's why. Question number 16 was, do you have a collection of fairy tale or myth? And I do, I have quite a few on my, on my bookshelf, but the one that I picked up was this one. This is The Complete Fairy Tale by Hans Christian and Anderson. This is a really pretty, I think it's from Barnes and Nobles actually. I think I got it when I was in the States. And they're like pretty cheap, honestly, for these, for as pretty as these copy art, these Barnes and Nobles, like, pretty edition are so pretty. And they're like 20 something dollars, 25 something dollars. So they were pretty, they were pretty cheap-ish um, for how pretty of a book these are. So I have this one, like I said, I have quite a few. I might actually do a video on them because I love them and they have basically all of the fairy tale. Um, they have pretty much all of the fairy tale. I have this one, I have one with the, for the Grimm's brother, and then I also have one for the Greek myths and tales. And I love these. When I was a kid, my mom and dad probably bought me this really big book uh, with all of the fairy tales out, and I used to read them over and over and over. I don't have that book anymore, which I'm really, really sad about, but I picked these one, and I, I read them from time to time, but they're more for decoration, but I do read them from time to time. So I, I, I wanted to talk about these because I think they're really pretty and I, I don't know, I wanted to actually include this in my video. Question 16 is, do you have a sci-fi fantasy book with an alliance between races? Um, and really it was a hard one for me to find or like think about. Um, I decided to pick up A Court of Thorns and Roses uh, by Sarah J Maas. Uh, because there's fey and human and there's an alliance between those two. I mean, I'm, I'm sure there's a ton of them. I'm just blanking on them right now. Um, and this is the only one that I thought about. So, yeah. Question number 18 is, do you have a book with a narrow front cover? Um, like a paperback with a front cover that is slightly trimmed shorter. I do have quite a bit on my bookshelf and I hate them. I don't know why they annoy the hell out of me. I just, I don't like them. But uh, the one that I chose is Rune and Rising because it was the first one that I could think about. And it does have the annoying shorter front cover and the annoying sticker. Like fake sticker. So yeah. I really like these, the new cover those. I just don't like this. This thing and then this thing is just ugh. It's really not that dramatic, but... Do you have a book that includes the first chapter of the sequel? And I have this one. The Summer I Turned Pretty. I feel like they used to do that more often before. Um, or maybe because I just buy books when they're released now, so I don't have a lot of them now. But uh, this is the one that I chose. I talked about this series already on uh, in this video, so it is The Summer I Turned Pretty. This is the first book, basically, by Jenny Han. I really like this book. Go check it out. There's a sneak peek to the next book in the end. And then last question was, do you have a book with a broken spine? And that's a hard one for me because I really try my best to not break spine. But I do have this monster of a book, which is The Lord of the Rings. It's the three book in one with a really big um, appendix in the end. So I cannot not break this spine. I don't know if you can see actually. But um, yeah, this spine is all broken um, because I mean it's impossible not to break the spine for this one. And like the page are so thin; these are like Bible pages, so it, it's just impossible not to break the spine. But it's not too bad. You can't really tell. It's just like it's bumpy when you when you touch it. So it's not too bad. Oh yeah, and then there's a bonus question, which was, do you have a book that covers three or more of the above prompts? And I picked up this book, which is 20 Mille Lieux Sous Les Mers by Jules Verne. Um, this is actually my boyfriend's book, but it is a red cover, like a red book. It has a broken spine because my boyfriend does not care about books. And it is a French book. So it's kind of a classic book. I think my boyfriend keeps bugging me to read this book. So I might have to one day because he said I have to read it because it's a classic. So yeah. That's my bonus question that I got. So that's it for this challenge, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will tag a few people uh, because the first time that I did this video, I was so frantic by the end, I totally forgot to tag people. But this is a really fun challenge to do, so I am gonna tag some people. The first person I'm gonna tag is Laura over at The Reading Mushroom because I told her I would tag her for this video. <laughs> and so 
tag Yurit. I'm also gonna tag Ian at the Out of the World Reader. I was right. So Ian uh, at the Out of This World Reader. He has some really pretty shelves in the back of his video, so I kind of want to see more of his shelf. It's kind of a selfish reason why I tagged him. And then I'm gonna tag Elsa, uh, the French book dreamer. She has some pretty shelves as well. Uh, so I'm gonna tag her. Um, I'm gonna tag Ali at Book Binge because she did the first version, but I don't think she did the second version. So you thought you would get away with it, but no, I am tagging you to do the second version of this tag. So those are the four people I will be tagging for to do this video. It's a really fun video to do. It's a really fun challenge. My bookshelves are a mess now and I need to put all of these books back on my bookshelf but it's still really fun to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night depending on when you're watching this and I will see you guys in my next video.